Hey YouTubers, we're going to do RGBW LED lights with the Raspberry Pi and running Light Show Pi. So what I've done is set mine up to run in audio mode, so it's audio in mode, um, using a webcam microphone. So anyway, we'll get to all that crap later. This is the breadboard setup on that. This will be the first video on YouTube that I've found so far with an RGBW setup with five wires uh, like the ones I have. So in case anybody's wondering, it can be done. I'm running two strands off of this, so uh, the strands are connected to each other. Um, so basically what you're looking at here, I'm going to show you my setup. As far as the MOSFETs, that's the things here. You'll see the black in the background. Those are MOSFETs. They have three pens. Um, you want to learn how that stuff works, look up MOSFET, and I'm sure you'll find a video on that and see how it works, M-O-S-F-E-T. And uh, basically, this is the best way I've found to do it so that it just plugs right into everything. I don't know why the videos I've seen, they just didn't plug the strand right into the board because it plugs right in. Um, then you run your shit off of that. You can actually plug it right into this yellow stuff here, the yellow pins that I have. It'll plug in a lot more sturdy, but when I shut the pie off, I'll do that. I just realized I could do that uh, right before I made the video. Kind of cool. At any rate, we're going to start going from the pie, and I'm going to explain to you what the wires do that you'll need to run this uh, little rig here. So we're going to start with the ground, and that's going to be pin number six right here. You're going to look at the sheet. We're going to go to pin number six. That's the ground. On my pie, the ground is the black wire, and that is going straight to the ground, okay, on the pie. On the, I'm sorry, on the breadboard. There we go. Next wire is going to be the red wire, and that's my orange, uh, the red lights, I'm sorry, that's my orange wire. And that's going from pin number 11, GPIO 17. If you see, that'll be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, Two, three, four, five, sixth pin on the back row, GPIO 17, pin number 11. Okay, alrighty. Moving on. Next light is next wire light is going to be white. So the white pin is going to be 13, GPIO 27, which is my green wire, and that's going to my white MOSFET. Now all of our colors are going to connect to these MOSFETs on the left side, the very first pin, going from the left to the right. So anyway, the green wire is going to the white MOSFET on the left side. So the next wire is going to be the brown wire. If you can see it tucked in back there, it's going down to the blue MOSFET. So that's going to be right here. We're going to go on pin number 15, GPIO number 22. Then next is going to be pin number 16 and that's going to be GPIO number 23 and that's going to be your green so on here that's my white wire and that's running to my green MOSFET green light MOSFET uh, these RGBWs so it's going to be red, green, blue, white I set them up like that so that it was good for me and beyond the fact I have all these um things going on here, different wires and different colors. I suggest buying a bunch of these wires if you're going to play around like I am. That way you don't get colors confused and so on. At any rate, the last wire, as you see, it's all grounded out, every one of them, um, on the MOSFETs. Okay, so that's the last wire on all the MOSFETs, RGBW. That's only four wires, so you got to worry about that last wire on your strand over here, which is black on mine. On that strand, that wire is going to be the power, and it's ran straight from that wire over here directly to the power. Yeah, I could have jumped it straight down here. It wouldn't have been any bigger of a deal, but I had a long wire, and I didn't want it flipping everywhere. So that's where I put it. We'll deal with it the way it is. It's cool. It's cool. At any rate, little simple rig there. Go into my 12-volt plug, and there it is. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on YouTube. Um, I'll answer questions as good as I can. The next video, I'll show you guys how to program all this stuff.